In this lesson, I want to show you how to assign subscriber to the Joomla groups. You know, groups are going to allow only the people in that particular section to be able to have access to the site. So you go to users, you want to go to groups at new group, and then you want to type in subscribers group. And then when it says group parent, you want to make sure that it's set to register and you click save and close. Now the reason why you're creating groups or why you need to create groups is that only the people in this particular groups are going to have access to certain things, content, you know, that you you publish on your site that the general public is not going to have, you know, access to this. And another awesome thing about this too is that you can create multiple groups. So if you want to have a group that have access just for 6 months, for 9 months, for 1 year, Whenever the group uh, membership expires, then they're not going to have access to that resource anymore because they're part of that group. So next, you want to go to the view access level. The view access level is just is just going to allow the people in this particular group to view the resources that you're going to create for them. So you just put in subscribers group. And you can put in the same name or a different name. I'm just using the same one. And then you want to connect this one to this group. And then you just put them to the register. So you click save and close. So now you've created the user group uh, for specific people on, on Joomla. The next thing that you need to do is to connect this with the subscription plans. So let's go, for example, with this basic plan. You're supposed to have a tab here that, you know, shows you to be able to connect it. And the reason why that's not there yet, because you have to do one more step, which I forgot to mention here. And that is to go to the plugin manager and you just type in your OS membership and you get all the different plugins for this particular membership here. And you want to enable this Joomla groups plugin here. You just click to enable it. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to be able to set access for that. So you go back to the plans here and now you have this extra tab that says Joomla group settings. When you click on it, it gives you all the groups that are part of this site. And this is the user group that we created. So when you choose this here, it's going to automatically assign every new member for this plan on this group. And when you want to remove, you come here, you click on this. And what's going to happen is that after their membership expires, they're not going to have access to this group anymore. So all the content that you, you uh, create for this particular group, only the people with, you know, active subscription are going to have access to this. And then you just save and close.